Hey guys, today here Doug, aka The Real Link, coming at you with another quick video. As you can see, my 39 Defounder Editions pulled out of my machine. Why, you ask? Well, you know what? I've had this card for a year, and it's been working great. It's amazing how fast time flies. The gaming has been fantastic, the compute and the mining have been spectacular. It's a really awesome card. Except, the memory runs a little hot. And by a little, we mean close to the maximum rated temperature, whether it's Samsung or Micron close to 100 to 110 Celsius in most cases or under strong compute workloads, which is obviously a little hot long term. So today we're going to use these Thermorite thermal pads, 1.5 millimeter thick, 12.8 watt per meter Kelvin thermal dissipation, and today take this apart and work to hopefully improve our temperatures by a bit. As usual, we're using an iFixit kit to do all of our screw driving and uh, heavy lifting in terms of tools, and some alcohol just to clean up any old thermal paste left over. Again, none of these are sponsored products in this video, but they are definitely useful to have. So let's begin. First step is to remove this X bracing by using a spudger magnet to posts. Next, we'll want to loosen the four screws for the front heatsink with a Phillips triple zero. Next, we'll want to remove the four magnetic screw caps on the back of the card using tape. Once the magnetic caps are removed, next you want to grab a TR6, Torx 6, to remove the four screws holding on the back plate. Correction, a TR4 fits just a little better, but a TR5 is functional. So now with these four screws and these four removed, the back plate should come off. Next step is to undo the fans by lifting up the ribbon cable clips. Next, since all the thermal pads adhere to the backplate side, we'll just simply size these up with the thermal pad sheet and replace them all. A few moments later. As you can see, the back side's now complete. Now, we'll separate the motherboard from the rest of the card and work on the cooler side. To remove the back bracket, you have six Torx 6 screws. There's also a seventh black screw holding down the I.O. plate. With the backside complete, now we'll start to loosen the actual GPU retention screws.
These are also T6. With all cables free, we should be able to remove the motherboard. Now to start clearing up the cooler side. And here we have the Ampere GA102-300 air dye. Let's put some new thermal compound on that and work on the rest of the thermal pads. Now with the underside complete, we can reassemble the card. Alright guys, and that's a wrap. Everything is hopefully back together in one piece here, and we'll fill the loop and put this back in and hopefully see some much better memory temperatures under load. A quick shout out to Gamers Nexus for producing their giant 3090 teardown video, even though it was quite a while ago, it served as invaluable reference for producing this video, so thank you guys very much for that. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one.